Hey, this is Yazuki Wolf, and um, I don't usually do these kind of tech guide videos, but I noticed that if you look on YouTube, there are a number of videos explaining how to set up a Nexus um, mod manager in order to use mods with, uh, with Skyrim VR, but I didn't see anything talking about mod organizer, and I actually prefer mod organizer as a mod organizing system to uh, the Nexus mod manager, and when I looked into it, it looks like it's actually even easier to set up than Nexus Mod Manager. So if you are looking for a very quick and simple way to get your mods, um, get to get ready to mod Skyrim VR, then hopefully this video will be useful to you. So the first thing we need to do is log into Nexus Mods. And on Nexus Mods, we're going to look for the Mod Organizer um, 2. So it's the, it's the second version here. So here you have Mod Organizer 2 right here. And this should be under Skyrim Special Edition. Um, I don't think it would ever come up with anything else, but just to double check, make sure right here it says Skyrim Special Edition. Um, when you're doing mods for Skyrim VR, you're going to want to focus on Skyrim Special Edition mods. So here within Skyrim Special Edition, Mod Organizer 2, um, if we do just like a control F right here and I'll just search for VR, you'll see right down here it says supports Skyrim. Skyrim SE and Skyrim VR. And this also does supports Fallout 4 VR as well. So if you're looking for Fallout 4 VR, this should be good for that as well. And um, so I noticed that with the mod, with the Nexus mod manager um, guides that I saw on YouTube, there were a lot of steps that required you to adjust your any files and uh, kind of mess with the the internal workings of of your uh, of your Skyrim game. And the reason why you do that is because the mod, the Nexus mod manager actually isn't natively supporting Skyrim VR, so you have to trick it into thinking that Skyrim VR is actually Skyrim SE. But with the mod organizer, you'll notice that it already has a native support here for Skyrim VR, which means that we won't have to mess with any any files or, or anything like that. It's going to be probably as simple as just installing this and then pointing it to the directory of our game. But uh, just to be thorough, we'll go through the steps here. And um, so now we're at mod organizer 2, click to files. We were in description by default, so now click to the files tab and we'll have Mod Organizer 2, the installer version, and the standalone version. Standalone version has a couple extra steps, so I think the easier way to, the easier way to do it is to, to stick with the installer version. So just go to Manual Download, and we'll download that. And this is going to be the same process for pretty much any of the mods that you are going to be downloading from the Nexus, uh, Nexus site in the future. So if you haven't used Nexus before, um, you want to set up a free account. Um, it may ask you for money, but don't be confused. You don't actually have to pay for the Nexus account. You can uh, set up a free one. And once you have a free account, you should be able to do these downloads in the same way for um, any any mod that you find here that you want to use for your Skyrim. All right, and it looks like the mod organizer has finished downloading. So we're going to click on that and uh, have that open up. Now, Windows does come up with a warning. Um, I, I I, as far as I can tell, there's no issues here, so I just went ahead and uh, ran it anyways. But if you're getting it if directly from Nexus, it should be the official uh, mod organizer, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, welcome to mod organizer 2.1.2. Let's go ahead and set that up. I agree to all the fine print. And now here you'll find in um, in the setup there's two checks that are that are not here that you may want to put on or may not want to. Uh, so the first is the handle Nexus links. Uh, this will make um, the Nexus site use Mod Organizer instead of the Nexus Mod Manager when you download directly from the site. There is an option to also download manually, and that's usually what I do. So you could have this or not have this either way is fine. And then you're just standard startup, startup menu shortcut whether you want that or not and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go to Next. So here you just have to put your destination folder. Um, it's by default it's your C drive, but uh, I like keeping it um, more organized than that. I put it in the same drive as my as my games. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to my uh, to my secondary drive. I'm going to put that under games and I'm just going to paste the mod organizer at the end of that and go ahead and hit install. All right, and the install has completed, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the run mod organizer checked and hit finish. So we have the option here to create a new instance or to do um, portable US, use MO folder for, for data. The new instance option will allow us to have just one mod organizer that can then have various instances. So for example, if you wanted to use this this for Fallout VR as well as Skyrim VR, you can just create a Fallout VR instance and then a Skyrim VR instance. So I think the new instance is going to be the easier option in my opinion. Uh, if you want to find out more about that, you could probably look into videos about Mod Organizer 2, 2 specifically. But for our case here, here we have, we have, um, we opened it up and we have 
games here that are already listed here. Um, I don't see Skyrim VR listed right now. That may come. That may be changed in the future because we do see that they have Fallout 4 VR listed here. But um, you can just type over this Skyrim VR and it should work fine. It, at least it did, did for me in my case. So now we have Skyrim VR written out there and we hit OK. So here's telling us that a new data directory has been created in our C drive. I actually don't want that, so I'm going to show you how we can change that later. If uh, you're keeping all your data on your C drive, then you can keep it on its default. But for me, once again, I'm going to want to switch that to my secondary drive. All right, now here you want to select the game to uh, that you want the mod organizer to manage. And uh, I actually don't have Skyrim installed on this computer. I, inst I already installed it on my other computer. So I'm going to cancel the install at this point. But for you, if you have Skyrim VR shown, showing up here, just go ahead and click on that. Otherwise, you click on uh, Browse. So I don't have Skyrim VR on this computer, but you should just go ahead and click on Skyrim VR and then uh, select that folder. And uh, I'll meet you on the other end of that. All right, so after, you've, uh, after you follow the instructions, you should get to a page similar to, similar to this, except for it won't have any mods in this left-hand corner. It should be all empty. And there may be a pop-up that tells you that it has created a data folder in your C drive. And so that's one thing that you may want to change right away because um, if you're trying to keep your C drive clean, you don't want to put necessarily gigs upon gigs of data from all your mods into your C drive. So the way that you're going to uh, fix that is you go up here to this, um, like screwdriver and wrench op uh, icon here. And then the second tab over, it has a, pa a tab called paths. Within here, your base directory, by default, it's gonna be your C drive, but if you want to change that to a different drive, then go ahead and click on these three dots over here and just uh, click on the drive that you want, uh, click on the place where you want the folder to be made. So right here, I have it under um, under a games, a games directory that I made and just mod organizer base directory Skyrim VR. So then you go ahead and hit OK. And the only other thing that you may want to adjust is, um, uh, once again, if you hit the settings icon, uh, next to paths, you also has a, a tab called Nexus. And within Nexus, you that's where you're going to put your uh, your um, login information for for your Nexus for the Nexus website in order to be able to download directly from Nexus. Right. And so to download mods, then you have two options. You can either download directly from from the Nexus, which would be, um, say, for example, if we were to look for something like. Uh, equipable um, equipable maps, which I think is going to be kind of cool to try out in VR. Let's see if we can find that. There we go. Equip able maps. And this is going to be the same for pretty much any any mod that you're going to download. You just click to the files tab and you're going to have mod manager download and uh, manual download. If you have it set up so that mod organizer will handle the links from a uh, from Nexus mods, then you could click on the mod manager download and that will download uh, send the link to uh, mod organizer so that the uh, download will start there. Or you can do what I do and download it manually. All right, it looks like my download is finished, so I'm gonna go back to uh, mod organizer. And then it's the second icon right here. This is the icon you wanna click on to uh, um, to load the, the download. So this is my downloads folder. I have equipable maps right here. So I'm just gonna click on that and open it. And here we have the uh, quick installer. You can name it whatever you want here. And um, you have the option to just hit OK or to hit, uh, I think this would be manual in, uh, in English. Um, I, I highly suggest checking manual just to make sure that everything is, is all right. So generally, you're going to want this to just have one data folder and then um, a bunch of, uh, uh, and then all the mod related data to be within that folder. And if it's not like that, then you can kind of drag and drop things to, to fix it. But uh, you want to make sure that it says looks good in the lower left-hand corner. You might want to look at a specific mod organizer uh, uh, tutorial, but um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. As long as it says looks good, you're okay. So hit okay there. Boop. And there we go. We have a couple maps right here. And it's in the list, but it's not actually going to be installed into Skyrim at this point. It's not going to actually be activated at this point. So you want to click the, uh, the, the um, box on the left-hand side to activate it. So now here we see on the right hand side, these three grayed out ESM files are the um, official Skyrim files. You can't you can't de deactivate those. So those are always going to be active. And under, underneath that, we now have a clippable map um, set up with the check next to it. And you can once you have more more mods installed, you may want to also sort to make sure that the, the order is OK. And it also could be uh, beneficial to look into downloading loot, L-O-O-T, to also help um, fix your mod order orders to keep everything clean. 
so the, only, so the only other thing is that when you play Skyrim and you want to use your mods, and this is actually a really good, cool thing about mod organizers, is that if you play Skyrim regularly, it's just going to be the vanilla version. But if you launch it from within mod organizer, then it's going to use the mods that you have listed here. And you just hit Skyrim VR and then hit, uh, I, I believe this would be play in the English version. And it will launch Skyrim VR from within Mod Organizer, and then it will load these mods into it. And this is also especially helpful if you actually decide to have different mods for different for different characters. So maybe this, maybe one character is going to use these mods, and then you can set up a, another profile. Is this the profile icon? Yeah, it is. So yeah, you could actually set up new profiles, like say for example, um, if I made uh, uh, Jimmy Jazz. Is, is a, this is going to be Jimmy Jazz's profile? Then I so then here you can click Jimmy Jazz, and now Jimmy Jazz doesn't doesn't have doesn't have equipable maps, whereas the default has equipable equipable maps. So you can actually keep track of different games with different mods and different loadouts. So that's why I really like Mod Organizer. Um, I believe that profile a profile system has been added to Nexus Mod Organizer as <clears throat> Nexus Mod Manager as well. So there may be you may be able to do that to a limited extent there as well. But uh, I just personally like uh, Mod Organizer a bit a bit more. And lastly, the only other thing I would suggest, uh, and this is completely just an aesthetic thing, but if you go to uh, settings, um, you have styles here that you could choose from. And I like the, uh, this, here, this, this is the, I think this is the dark style. Yeah, I kind of like the dark style better than the than the standard uh, uh, bright style. And there's a couple other other styles that you can pick from as well. So you might want to look into that. All right, so that's uh, pretty much all there is to getting set up. Um, when you when you actually install mods, just make sure that you go to the uh, the Nexus mod page and read the description thoroughly for any mod that you're going to install. Make sure that it plays well with the other mods that you have, and make sure you follow any any ins installation instructions there may be here. Um, I know that may be intimidating. Most of the time, it's pretty simple, but you just want to make sure that you read through because there may be some mods that require other mods in order to work, or there may be mods that um, that don't play well with certain mods. So you just want to try to be in as informed as possible. Also, keep in mind that Skyrim VR does not sus officially support mods, so we're all kind of just testing the wires and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So another useful uh, site to look at, um, I'll leave the link below, but uh, there's, uh, actually, let me see here. Um, so this here's this article from uh, VentureBeat.com where they go through the 40 must-have mods for the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim VR. And here it has a lot of mods to, that um, you can probably pick from that are most likely going to be pretty safe for your VR, VR loadout. So you can go ahead and go through here and find things that interest you. And another thing to keep, another thing that's really, um, really useful is at the very bottom here. It uh, has a link here for a sticky thread on on a game on the on the subreddit. So if you click click to this link, and I'll I'll include this link in the description as well, but it will lead you to the subreddit, which actually provides a link to um, a, a Google spreadsheet that the whole community is kind of working together to test out and see which which mods work well with with VR and which mods are not working right now and. Everyone's kind of testing it together and like leaving leaving um, feedback on what what kind of uh, tweaks you might have to do to get the mod to work properly in VR. So we're all having it's kind of a cooperative effort of the community that I think is uh, really cool to see. And so if you you have any worries about uh, getting into modding for VR, I think that this should help. Uh, I think that this should really help uh, maybe ease you into things because you have a whole community here that are working together. You can look here and and say. For example, um, the, I, I just download the equipable mods list. So what I do is I do a control F and I just look for equip um, able. Let's see if it'll come up. Ah, oh, there it is. So right here we have equipable mods, equipable maps special edition, and it says that it is working and they recommend a map retexture. And it will say it also says that on the actual equipable maps page it says here that for VR I think it says yeah. Uh, not, not most of the mods don't aren't specifically being made for VR, so that's why you want to kind of the two things to keep in mind is that generally you're only going to want to be able to you generally the mods that are going to work are going to be um, the special the Skyrim special edition versions because those are 64 bit uh, that's the 64 bit of Skyrim which should be the same as VR I believe, and you also want them to not use S key S K S E that's the the Skyrim script extender uh, I don't think that that is working for VR right now. So any mod that uses the SKSE will probably not will probably cause issues in VR. Um, so keeping that in mind, just read the descriptions here and um, and then maybe just look at the uh, at the, what the community has tested through this uh, through this Google web page, Google document here and you should be pretty safe. So lastly, let's just make sure that the uh, mod that we just installed, the equipable maps is working. Um, so 
in the description here, it says that they recommended us to download uh, a, a texture to make it more readable because the original texture is probably going to be very uh, blurry in VR. So um, I also I went ahead and I downloaded that as well, and that is this uh, one 2024 by 2048 maps um, uh, file right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm just going to drag that underneath the clippable maps. I don't necessarily think I don't think it necessarily has to come before or after, but I just want to keep them together so that I know that those are related to each other. Um, so usually you would have to craft these items, but uh, just for the sake of testing to see that it's working, I'm going to use this console command here that has been uh, um, provided by the by the mod author. So let's go ahead and go back here and launch Skyrim VR from within mod agonizer mod mod organizer. <laughs> uh, that might have been a Freudian slip there. Okay, so in order to do the console commands, you're actually going to have to use your keyboard. You obviously can't do that with the uh, with the Vive controller. So I put down my, my headset for a moment, and I went to my keyboard, and I'm going to input the commands that are, were suggested by the uh, by the author of the mod. Um, in order to bring up your console commands, you're going to hit the til tilde key, uh, or if you have a Japanese com uh, keyboard like I do, it's it's the hangaku zengaku key. It's the key right next to the number one key on your keyboard. Uh, how many times can I say key? I don't know. But anyway, so here we are, and I actually did this once already because I was testing it out, and I noticed that the commands that they give you in the on the mod page is actually just for the um, for the supplies that you need in order to craft the item. And I mean that's a perfectly viable way to test it, but I want to be a little bit quicker than that. I wanted to actually uh, just put the item directly into my uh, into my inventory to be able to test it right away. And to, to do that, I just I just typed in help and then uh, quotations map and then end quotations and hit enter and it gives you it gives me a list of every, everything with map in the name of it but I, I noticed from the mod description that the mod actually uses the map as a as a shield so I looked I use page up and page down to scroll through these these results and look here it says that within armor there actually is a map of Skyrim and a map of Skyrim holds in the armor uh, selection so I'm going to go ahead and add um, add that inst inst instead of the instead of the crafting materials. So in order to do that, we hit player dot uh, add item, and I'm just going to add zero six zero zero one zero zero one. Uh, the first thing I did, I, I added map of Skyrim already earlier when I tested. It, so now I'm going to try map of Skyrim's holds, and then space one. So that's telling me it's 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 saying that we're adding one item to the player of ID zero six zero zero one zero zero one. And the, the final one is just telling us that it's one quantity, right? So hit enter, and it says that it, you can see in the upper left a little bit there, it's, it looks like it says that the item was added. So now to exit this, we hold Alt and hit tilde, or the, the key that I mentioned earlier for Japanese users. Uh, why is it not letting me end? There we go, okay. And now let's see if it's in our inventory. Hold on a minute. Let's see if we can find it in here. Map of, map of Skyrim, that's the first one I added, and Map of Skyrim Holds is the second, it looks like. Yes, it is. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, equip that. And there we go. The mod has been successfully equipped. So now we can be running through Skyrim with a map in our, in our hands. That's pretty nice. And it's kind of cool because it looks like if I run and I just I put it up, it automatically slows down my running space, by my running pace, as if I have a, um, a shield out and ready. So yeah, there you go. Mod works as intended. It's, it's that is that simple. Hopefully that was useful to you. Until next time, Yoroshiku. That's better.